Okay, everyone, this is the third part of it. I've added a little more information for you. So let's go through what I did. The very first thing I did was add uh, the initialize employees in here. So that'll be the very first thing that's going to get done. Then again, we have display menu, um, a little menu that says blah, 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 what to do, tells us what you chose. And then we have input employees. So we're going to input the employees. I've changed this to just one for testing purposes, max employee, so we don't have to input three. Then uh, after that, we're going to input hours. So that is a function that you'll we'll have to write. So we have the input employees, which is down here, getting information, then the input hours. So I've written this for you here. That's going to say um, how many hours did such and such work. And you're going to use a CN to get the hours. Very simple. Remember, um, use the M of I, and then you're going to use um, hours. Then you're going to calculate the regular hours, and you're calculating the overtime hours. And anything more than the max reg hours, I just put 40 here, so I wouldn't have to tape it, uh, type it out so much. But it's going to be max regular hours. Of course, maybe your company uh, recognizes 35 hours, and after 35 hours, you're getting overtime. So anything more than 40 hours, and I'm going to use 40 hours for this, uh, is going to be resulting in 40 hours as regular hours and the overtime hours. You're going to subtract the total hours worked minus the uh, max regular hours. So if they work 50 hours, you're going to subtract 50 um, or the, actually 40 from 50. So the overtime hours would be 10 and the regular hours would be 40. If it's less than um, or equal to that, that's the else. Then the regular hours worked is going to be how many they actually work and the overtime hours will be zero. So you'll go into this um, here. You're going to do number one first. Then you're going to do number two. So we have it up here. And the next one will be calculate payroll, which I will do that in the next video. So this is a short video to keep you going. Now, again, remember, you're going to have to add this information in here. Here you're going to calculate the payroll in here. So again, the regular pay is going to be the regular rate times the regular hours. The overtime pay is the overtime rate times the overtime hours. The total pay is the regular pay times total pay. So this is going to have to be in a loop in here. So again, we're going to do for I equals one to three. Or whatever it is, and we will put that there. So this is going to just calculate all the hours and store the hours. So you don't actually have to do anything in this one. There's no user input. It's just calculate, calculate, calculate. So that will be, let's put the actual call in here, which is done. Calculate payrolls. So the next video is going to do the calc totals and the calc payroll.